Okay, today I'm going to show you how to make flashcards using words. As you can see, I've already typed out the list of words I'm going to use. All right. So first, I'm going to highlight all of them. Okay. And then I'm going to go to insert to the tables icon. And then I'm going to click down to convert text to table. I'm going to leave everything as it is. Click OK. All right. And now I have all that selected. Okay. Now I need to go to the layout. And then I'm going to change the height to 2 inches. And then the width to 3.25. And for some reason, sometimes it'll change, as you'll see later on in the video. So I'll put it at that. So I have a pretty good size flash card. And to utilize the empty space there, I am going to move the other words into the uh, other side. Okay, so I don't waste paper. So I'm gonna I'm gonna click that box right there to highlight all the words. I'm gonna go this layout right here, and then there is columns. I'm going to click that and then I'm going to click number two. Okay, so now I have two columns. So all my words are put together into two columns now. All right. All right, and then next I am going to go back to layout, the other layout button, and then I'm going to align the word into the center, just like that. Okay, now I got them in the middle, nice and centered. And then I'm going to clean up the words a little bit more. I need to get rid of these capitalized letters, so I'm going to go to Home. Then I'm going to go to this icon here, the Change Case, and then Lower Case it. And there you go, looks a little bit better now. Okay, and now I'm going to change the font size. I'm going to do 40, maybe 48. And it looks okay, so I'm gonna check all my other words just in case. All right, so far so good. Oh, oh there you go. I got a couple, uh, a couple of words that uh, a little bit too much, so I did kind of change it back to 36, kind of lower it a little bit until. Okay, they all look good now. All right. Okay, and then. You can also change the font if you want to, but I'm not going to do that. And let's say you want to add some blanks because maybe you have some extra words you want to put right down in the future. So this is what you do. You'll scroll all the way down to the last right click. Okay, and then you're going to go to insert. And then you are going to click rows below. And it's going to add some extra blank boxes there. So that way you can cut them out and add your new words later. And there you go. All right, and then the last thing uh, I need to do is I'm going to go to the print to do a little print preview to make sure they are, are all uh, aligned correctly. And as you can see, I got all my words where I want it. Okay, I'm going to check through it, and it looks pretty good. And there you go. There you have it. Thank you for watching.